Welcome back to the stream. We appreciate you being with mm -hmm. us. Every day, Americans throw away around 60 million plastic water bottles, according to the Plastic Weight Index. The world threw away over 150 tons of single-use plastics in a year. Yeah, if we just narrow that in, it's a lot. It's a lot of oh, waste. And so one Chicagoan has made it her mission to reduce single-use plastics and help the communities most impacted by climate change and pollution at the same time with a reusable water bottle kiosk. So Manuela Zonenstein, right? All right, is here with us, the founder and CEO of the startup Kadea. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Yeah, happy you're here. So. Your story and how you started this business and got this idea is very unique and there was a lot that went into this. Tell us about this concept and what it's all about and where it came from. Yeah, so I am a Brazilian immigrant. I was raised to be frugal and resourceful growing up. I got the chance to move to China actually as a journalist in 2007 and I was there for eight years and by the time I left, everyone was carrying around single-use bottles and anything mm -hmm. that happens in China, you imagine at scale, and you understand that it's totally unsustainable. By the time yeah. I left, Beijing had run out of landfill space. Shanghai had run out of landfill space. And so I came back to the U.S. thinking, look, we started this problem. Yeah. We've got to be the ones to solve it. I joined a software company, nothing to do with sustainability. But on the side, I worked with the kitchen staff to launch a reusable water bottle program. We ran that for three years, and we defrayed single-use consumption by about 30%. Which you'll think is really good, right? It's higher than recycling rates in the United States, yeah. even for aluminum. And then you look at the market size of packaged beverages. It's $3.5 trillion globally. Mm -hmm. And the U.S. is the world's largest market for reusable bottles. No one in Africa, Asia, Latin America, or Europe, for that matter, is carrying a Yeti with them to the tap. Right. So even if we feel good that we're carrying our swells and clean canteens around, that's not a scalable solution. Right, right. And so the idea was, how do we reimagine reusables, but do it in a way that is as convenient, as low cost, and as high quality as single use is perceived today? Yeah. Okay. Probably low cost being a key there. So Kadea means what, the name? Yeah, so Cadea comes from the word Cadea, C-A-D-E-I-A in Portuguese, mm -hmm. and it means chain. We say we're reimagining supply chains and starting mm -hmm. a chain reaction for good. And the idea with these bottles is that this is the final stock of bottles humanity will ever need. So this yeah. is a stainless steel bottle. Mm -hmm. It's infinitely reusable with no degradation, unlike plastic or mm -hmm. aluminum that will degrade. And then we also have a glass bottle, which works for kind of higher end environments. But we're focusing on the stainless steel bottle because our go to market is not the kind of workplaces you and I normally think of. We're right. focused, and, 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 and yeah. like there are kiosks, kiosks that yes. will be eventually located, like, you know, we think of charging our cars or mm -hmm. there will be kiosks for these specifically to wash, sanitize, refill them. A hundred percent. It's, I like to say that we are divvy bikes for bottles. Mm -hmm. So we uh, are, have these stations that are in certain workplaces to start with. It's the size of a vending machine. Like a vending machine, we vend you beverages conveniently. You choose what beverage you want and it's dispensed on demand. So we carry all the beverages you all already know and love. We're not trying to compete with the big brands we all know. Unlike a vending machine, you return the bottle to any station in the network. Mm -hmm. And then our patented station washes, sanitizes, inspects, and refills the bottle. Wow, wow. so it's patent pending right now. We, we just won our patent. Okay, yeah. you just won it? Yeah. Congratulations. Won. Won it. Yeah, we <laughs> got our patent. Won it. We, we got won our, US it. Pat, our patent from the USPTO. I know. Okay. It's a, yes. And it's a non-provisional patent, so okay. that's kind of a level up from level like up. a yeah. provi provisional patent. And then we got, um, we expect to year back that we're going to get a design patent on the bottle. Because as you can see, it's flat on two sides, so you know, you can lay it down and it doesn't roll. And then wow. the idea is that you could hold it in one hand with your smartphone, walk around, do your thing, and then drop it off again. So it's really meant to be suitable for our mobile lifestyles without the inconveniences, unfortunately, of reusable bottles. Yeah. That you have to remember, you have to wash, you have to carry yeah. them around, they spill. They're big. They're big, you don't know where you're gonna refill them. Mm -hmm. They're big you because you don't put know. put them on your side. Yeah. That in and of itself 
Who didn't think of this for the past 50,000 years? I know. Adrian, you got another question? Yeah, yeah you're part of a, a climate tech launch pad, if you will. Can you yeah. talk about just what's next for you when you talk about scaling the business, moving forward, getting this out to, to the market? Yeah, absolutely. So we're part of the Village Capital, Dream.org, Clean Tech Accelerator. It's been incredible. They selected 10 underrepresented founders in the climate space. And we're actually going out to uh, San Jose next week. Oh, wow. Um, for the Verge Clean Tech Conference. And they've been incredible at introducing us to investors, introducing us to customers. We are launching um, on Friday, the day after tomorrow, at Ecolab. Um, at their manufacturing plant west of O'Hare. We're working with a major national construction company. We're on the largest healthcare construction site in the United States right now. Wow. Um, and we won a contract with the U.S. Air Force. Oh, wow. That's so, amazing. That's huge. So, a, a Brazilian immigrant, so first gen uh, American. I mean, what, what do you say, you know, blazing a trail here and maybe saving the world, literally, in, in some aspects? What do you, what do you say to? Uh, little black and brown girls who, who, who don't necessarily think of STEM, let alone what you plan to scale. What, what, what do you say? Um, being the minority in a room is a strength mm. because you are bringing a unique point of view. And mm -hmm. exactly what you said, why didn't anyone think of the shape of the bottle? No. Because everyone had been doing it the same way and they were all in the same community talking to each other. Mm -hmm. And the fact that I've lived abroad and have seen different lifestyles and points of view and that I was already an outsider, so people were going to think I was crazy no matter what I did, mm -hmm. gave me the license That's great. to do things differently. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Manuela, uh, designer and founder, CEO of Cadea, patent approved. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, congrats. Uh, I look forward to seeing this uh, hopefully sometime soon uh, on, on so many levels. Congratulations and thank you for joining us on Thank you so much. Yeah, and we wish you the best ahead as you move forward in business. Thank you. Yeah, we're uh, going to eliminate the need for single use beverage containers forever for everyone. I like it. Big, Thank you. Broad.